You're watching the Frendo Public Network. Oh, hey there, Frendos. What's going on? This is Steve here, and welcome back to the Frendo Workshop. I don't like 3D movies. I hate them. They make my head hurt. I'll check out Dread 3D when it comes to my TV. But I like the comic book. I got a lot of people asking me, hey, Steve here, why don't you draw Judge Dredd for your friendo workshop? Okay, I'll do that. And while I do that, I'm going to teach you guys a very important lesson about saving your shit while you're drawing using Photoshop. <sighs> All right, so uh, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about process, about people asking, can you do uh, Photoshop tutorial stuff? Um, there's not a whole lot to what I do. Um, I work with layers. Um, the background goes on the the first layer, and then I just I use multiply layers for the colors. And if I'm doing like lighting effects, sometimes I'll use an overlay layer or a soft light layer to do uh, any like color tinting um, to either warm things up or if there's like a glow that needs to be a special uh, color then I'll go ahead and apply that as an overlay layer above a glow layer um, so uh, that's pretty much all right so that's one lesson to learn if you're talking about Photoshop is uh, is go ahead and save your shit because I was in the middle of a really good piece um, and luckily I was only I had only gotten like, or I had only done like the head of Judge Dredd, and so I just had to redo that. And luckily, because I'm screen capping this, I was able to take the the thumbnail that I had and uh, and toss that back over there with the screen cap. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't think that Photoshop has its own has an autosave. It might all have to dig in there because this is the newer Photoshop, and I know my older Photoshop didn't have an autosave, and it didn't make sense to have an autosave. I don't think because most computers would have to stop um, if you don't have enough RAM it would have to stop for you know three or four seconds to actually save it if, if your piece is a larger like printoutable piece you know if it's like an 11 by 17 or something like that it's gonna be a larger piece and so it's gonna have to take a little bit of time to actually save every time it auto saves and that can disrupt your flow your workflow so um, it's a really good idea to stop every you know when you make progress every you know, a couple minutes or every half hour or whatever, however long you're you're okay with losing that work in case Photoshop cries. I mean, I've got a pretty current computer. I've got a very current version of the most current version of Photoshop. It should not crash, but um, it did. And, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, my number one piece of advice is definitely... Yeah, so it crashed twice on me, <laughs> uh, and again, luckily I was doing the, uh, I was doing the, um, I had saved it, uh, I just had the the gun that I wasn't uh, done with, and that I was able to screen cap, um, and because the screen cap was a lower resolution, I just bring it over, or I copy and paste it off the off the the still shot that I took, um, sized it correctly, and then up the levels or up the contrast rather, either using levels or brightness contrast. And, uh, and that would get rid of any fuzzy artifacts. I'm sure there's a way where I could, you know, what, derasterize it or whatever you want to call it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's the big, that's the big, um, you know, lesson for the day is just be sure to always save your stuff because you'll lose, like, I've had that happen to me several times. And I think it's because I work with Final Cut Pro so often and Final Cut Pro has, um, has a, an autosave feature and Photoshop doesn't. So I'm going to answer some questions really quick from the Frendo sketch pad of Marcus Phoenix. Um, so let's take a look here. We've got Professional Noob 97 asks, Hey Steve, you could be the son of any two big name people, who would they be? If I could be the son of any two big name people, who would they be? I'm assuming one male, one female. Uh, I would say if I, other than my family, I would probably want to be the son of uh, the King Jerry Lawler. And, um, 
Wait, who's the who's the Katie Seagal, the chick who plays Peg Bundy? I don't know. I recently started watching Sons of Anarchy, and I remember how awesome she is. Uh, let's see here. Tyler Myers says, uh, one quick question. Why the lack of any Nintendo characters? Why not a really uh, bad-ass Mario or Link killing some awesome zombies or something? I don't know. I think one thing about drawing the more cartoony characters, and granted, I know Link isn't very cartoony, but Mario and Luigi definitely have their own sort of style, is that I find it like it... I don't know. I'm not really interested in drawing like realistic versions or versions in my style of Mario and Luigi, and I'm not a huge Link fan, so... I don't know if you guys can come up with some other characters that are like Nintendo based, uh, but otherwise I don't. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll see. Uh, let's see here. The Joe Allen asks, "Will you ever play with someone else on Panic Shot, uh, meaning other than Larson, like Mark or Hilton, from uh, the podcast The Tree of Woe that we do every week?" Uh, it's possible. Mark said he's going to get WWE 13. Um, and Hilton's a Call of Duty slash Halo guy, so maybe when Black Ops 2 comes out <clears throat> i'll uh, i'll do some zombie modes with hilton and, and larson let's see here t chambers 139 says hey steve of commander shepherd and master chief fought who do you think would win uh, i think master chief would would probably win because commander shepherd uh, seems to be too preoccupied with who who to have relations with next he's he's having sex with everybody in those mass effect games so i'd say master chief all right so there you go friendos there's judge dread like I said, I'm not going to watch Dread 3D until it comes magically to my TV out there. I don't do the 3D movies, but I hope you enjoy the piece. I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe I could have spent some more time on Mega City 1 behind him, but, you know, I like the, the gritty nature of it. I think it's a pretty good piece. Uh, before I go, i got a couple of plugs for you guys. First of all, I want to give a shout-out to Zach Ian Peabody, who's uh, asking me to check out facebook.com forward slash Kellen Richardson Art. Uh, I'll put a link down there for you guys. Some pretty cool art from a friendo, so check that out. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Aaron Dempsey for the giant folder of textures that I used for today's episode. I'll probably be using those a lot down the line, so I appreciate that, buddy. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to Lee Pattison Design. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for the awesome, uh, I'll put that right there, the awesome uh, Steven Larson Shit Twins avatar that, we get, that we're using for the Facebook right now. That's not me, that's Lee Pattison Design. And it's cool stuff, so go ahead and check that out too. As always, you can check out my stuff at either friendoworkshop.com, uh, Friendo Sketchpad at Tumblr, or uh, MF Steve here at the Twitters, or Stephen Larson at the Twitters, or of course our Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Stephen Larson. That's another episode of the Friendo Workshop. Be sure to keep on sending in those comments and questions and all that great stuff. I'll keep up the Friendo Sketchpads and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. Any comments or feedback or suggestions or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm just running my mouth right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. I, it's Friday, man. I got to get out there. I got to go do some stuff. I want to watch a movie, probably. Not Dread 3D. I don't do I do not do 3D movies. I don't do that. The Piranha 3D, I thought was a cool flick in 3D because it showed the boobies and everything. And then uh, Jackass 3D. That was the only good 3D. I saw the Tron movie in 3D. Bad idea. Bad idea. On many levels. That was a cool soundtrack, though.